Wow, just wow. This has been a very hot, literally, <laughs> weekend and we have so much to discuss. Ukraine might already have extended range missiles for HIMARS called Attack MC, which potentially opens further objects to be destroyed, such as, for example, the Crimean Bridge. In addition to that, right now Antonovsky Bridge is under attack and it looks like that this time the damages are substantial. And finally, according to the Institute for the Study of the War, the Russian army is completely exhausted, which basically means that they are not able to capture any more land at all. But more about all of this in a couple of minutes. What's up, investors? It's the Russian dude, and I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And let's go straight to the point by talking about uh, this video, where we can see Ukrainians transporting the container for allegedly attack MC missile. What makes uh, this video so unique is that in case this is true, these are extended range missiles for HIMARS, which Ukraine needed so much. In order to prove the point, people started comparing containers for regular HIMARS missiles and containers for attack MC missiles. There is even this thread on Twitter by Thomas Steiner, which goes into details about comparing these containers. And the reason why this news is so important, it is because the range of attack MC missiles can be up to 300 kilometers, which, like mentioned previously, opens for Ukraine such good possibilities to attack distant objects. And yes, if you want to go over this research by yourself, which basically proves that Ukraine already has attack MC missiles, I will leave this link in my discard. Alright, before we talk about Ukrainians potentially finally destroying Antonovsky bridge, here is just a couple more videos from Crimea. First of all, as you can see from this video, a kamikaze drone was used to attack the Russian Black Sea Navy headquarters in Sevastopol. The Russians claimed that the air defense system was able to intercept this drone. But as you can see from this video, the drone definitely reached its final destination. And in the next video which came from Saki, we can see see Russian air defense system in action once again. If we go a little bit further to Yevpatoria, we can see once again Russians trying to destroy aerial objects. And then if we move even more to the northwest to Alenivka, we can see once again Russian air defense system in action. Overall, during this past weekend, there was so many similar events across the entire Crimean Peninsula territory, and most likely most of the times these were Ukrainian drones. And you know what, even the Ukrainian force themselves showed us this video with their army of drones. And I'm not gonna lie, this is impressive. Alright, and just before we talk about the potential destruction of Antonovsky Bridge, here is just one quick video from Odessa. And as you can see right here, the explosion of another sea mine was spotted on camera. And I just want to emphasize this once again. If you're watching this video from Odessa, please abstain from going to the beaches in the nearest future. Alright, and now as promised, let's go ahead and talk about Antonovsky Bridge. And while I'm doing this, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel if you like this style of of daily updating. Alright, so in this picture we can see the explosion which happened at Antonovsky Bridge. According to local residents, they heard at least 10 explosions which came from this direction. And then, according to the head of Kherson region, Sergei Hlein, besides attacking this bridge, Ukrainians were also able to destroy a Russian military convoy. These military vehicles were also transporting the ammunition which magnified the explosion. Which most likely means that this bridge is fine finally destroyed. Very soon we'll be talking about the situation in the east and why the Russian army is now completely exhausted, but first of all, just a several more videos from the south. And as you can see from this picture which came to us from Chernobyevka, there were several explosions. Ukrainian side claims that they were able to destroy Russian military warehouse, military barracks and even some parts of this air base. And then in this picture from Novokakhovka, we can see that Ukrainians were able to destroy another military warehouse of Russians. But unfortunately, Russians were shelling this area as well. And as you can see in this picture from Voznesensk, Russians were able to destroy a civilian building. In addition to that, Russians destroyed another civilian infrastructure in Nikopol. Alright, and now as promised, let's go to the east. First of all, in this video, we can see Ukrainians being able to destroy another military warehouse
because of Russians in Donetsk. In addition to that, Ukrainians were also able to destroy a military base of Russians in the same city. Then we go a little bit to the north, to the city of Horlivka. And as you can see from this video, Ukrainians successfully terminated another military warehouse of Russians. But now, let's talk about probably one of the most important parts of this video. Which is the report by the Institute for the Study of the War is that Russian army is now completely exhausted. And by the way, before we go there, if you want to see more footage from today's episode, especially the one which I was not able to use, please consider checking my Patreon. All the proceeds will be donated to Ukraine and you can find all the useful links down below. Alright, so according to this report, Russian army is now completely exhausted, especially in the east, which most likely means that they will not be able to capture any more land at all. The personnel losses are significant, the morale is extremely low and there is basically no inflow of new soldiers. At the same time, Russia does not want to call for mass mobilization because this will mean that they acknowledge that this is a war and not a special military operation. So basically the only thing left for them to do is to continue shelling Ukrainian cities. Most likely the idea behind this strategy is to completely ruin major Ukrainian cities. But no matter what, one thing remains the same. Which is that Ukrainians are fighting to protect its own land, families and friends. And on the other hand, Russian soldiers are executing the orders of their military officials in a foreign country. Which basically means that it is Ukraine and Ukraine only has all the reasons to find all the way until victory. And by the way, this Saturday, August 27th, is my two years on YouTube and I'll be doing a charitable live stream. So feel free to mark your calendars. And if you want to support my work, please consider becoming my channel member. Thank you so much for your attention, stay safe and see you tomorrow.